For today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and demoing the products I got in my August Ipsy Glam Bag X. Uh, so Glam Bag X is a quarterly upgrade of one of your Ipsy subscriptions. I think you can do either the Ipsy Glam Bag or the Glam Bag Plus. So my Glam Bag Plus upgrades to the Glam Bag X every three months, I believe. Uh, so I think the first Glam Bag X was in February, and that box was curated by uh, Patrick Ta. So they always have a celebrity kind of curate the products. Uh, and Patrick Ta, the makeup artist and the man behind uh, the eponymous brand, uh, Patrick Ta did the February box. And then in May, it was Khloe Kardashian. Uh, so obviously Kardashian. Uh, and then this month it is Halsey. So uh, as you may know, Halsey is a, a musician, but she also has a makeup line. So as I said, this replaced my Glam Bag Plus. So I got my normal Glam Bag, which I think is around $12 a month. Uh, the Glam Bag Plus, which I did not receive, is I think around $25. And I think this is around $50 for uh, this once a quarter upgrade. Uh, but I think you get a pretty good assortment of products and I think you can choose three of the products. So yes, yeah, so you get eight full-size products worth up to $500 uh, for this one anyway. And then it's $55 a shipment. And you can choose, I think, like I said, three of the products. So I'll go through the products I received in both my Glam Bag X and my Glam Bag, and then we'll start playing around with them. Okay, so for the Glam Bag X, uh, the first item I chose was the Bread Macadamia Oil. Uh, I'd kind of seen this brand around and I was intrigued by it, partly because of the packaging. So it just has this very kind of modern look to it. Uh, this is the 100% concentrate macadamia oil for hair and body. Uh, it says it's for hotel pillow softness and uh, the macadamia oil is 100% cold pressed Australian macadamia oil. Uh, so it says you can apply it on its own as a targeted leave-in treatment oil or add a few drops to your hair mask as a fatty acid booster. I think this is supposed to be applied more on damp hair uh, than on dry, but I might kind of put a little bit through my hair in a minute. Uh, and for body, it says glide all over body for a dewy finish or add a few drops to your body lotion for extra slip and softness. Remember to patch test first. So uh, this isn't, I think, their most, um, it just has a, Spencer like that. I don't think it really smells like much. So I don't think this is their most like hyped product or anything. Uh, I did, I think, order the hair gloss uh, in the FabFitFun add-on store. So I should be receiving that soon. I think, I mean, it's just, it's just really like an oil. Like it, it kind of um, sinks in pretty well. It's not too greasy or heavy, I don't think. Just kind of run a little bit over my hair. So I didn't use it as they suggest as like a leave-in on damp hair or as a boost to my hair mask or anything, but uh, I probably will try that in the future. Uh, I've used a lot of other like 100% oils like argan oil and rosehip seed oil and that sort of thing but i don't think i've ever used uh, macadamia oil so the glam bag x comes with this nice like almost newspaper looking description of the products so it talks about halsey uh, it has like her products that she picked out and then i think there's just kind of some generic glam bag x products they say they're glam bag x exclusives yeah, it doesn't really say much. It just says macadamia oil is a glowy game changer thanks to its high antioxidant and fatty acid content. And this, by the way, retails for $28. Yeah, it says you can apply it as a pre-wash treatment or a post-cleanse leave-in treatment oil. And the brand um, description, by the way, it says Bread Beauty Supply is a clean and contemporary brand that simplifies hair care. 
Consider it a basic must-have, just like bread. Okay, I get ya. Um, so I think that is a product I can definitely make some good use of. So the other options I had available to me were the Dr. Brandt Time Defying Cream, uh, the Define Me Perfume Mist, uh, the Beauty Stat Sea Eye Perfector, uh, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I already had. Uh, so I'll go ahead and apply some of this. Uh, and then also the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. Uh, so this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, I'm probably at least halfway through this little tub here. Uh, and I've gone through, I think, at least one full tub of this before. So uh, I do like it. It's not like the only lip balm I use these days, but I think it was certainly a good option uh, to choose from. But because I was interested in this brand, I decided to go for that. Uh, I was also tempted by the Brigogio Farewell Frizz. Uh, I used it today. I had this little uh, 0.75 fluid ounce sample. And to be honest, uh, I like Brigogio as a brand, but I think this is the first time I've blow dried my hair uh, in months. And it's probably the first time my hair has been blow dried since I got it cut a few weeks ago. I forget when it was. Uh, so I did use this and I did kind of film some b-roll of me uh, using it and blow drying my hair and doing all that so yeah it's again a nice addition to the product but as far as like a blow dry perfection and heat protectant cream I just didn't think I would probably use it as much. Okay so the second category I selected the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk Medium uh, and I already had this uh, lip pencil, but I do like it a lot, so I decided to pick up a backup. Uh, the pillow sheet, by the way, retails for $22. Uh, and the other options in this category weren't super appealing to me, so uh, they had the Kimchi Chic Beauty Blush, I think it was, the Sonage Collagen Boosting Serum, uh, the Rowan Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Charlie, uh, which I actually got from BoxyCharm either as an add-on or in the sale or something like that. So uh, I already had this, so I will be trying it today. And then they also had um, a beauty blender as an option in the shade Topaz. Uh, I have a beauty blender and I think I have a backup as well. So it was a pretty color, but I just didn't feel like I needed it. Uh, and then finally, the last option available to me anyway was the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Okay, so the third option I chose the Saints and Sinners Leave-In uh, Conditioner for hair. Uh, and I also use this today. So I always use a leave-in before I comb out my hair. And this one, so far so good. It has a nice kind of light floral scent to it. I'm not sure exactly what the floral is supposed to be, but I think it's definitely floral. I'm sure I can find the notes somewhere and I'll read them to you. Uh, but anyway, I thought this would be something I could definitely get good use out of. Uh, I enjoyed the way leave-in a lot, but uh, I thought, you know, might as well go for that. Uh, and this, I'm not sure if this is in the packet here. Okay, so that one I might have to pull up on the app. Okay, so that has a $20 value for the four ounce uh, size, which is full size. And uh, it says you can use code SUPERFRESH to receive a free full-size new SUPERFRESH Divine Dry Shampoo plus free shipping when you spend $50 or more on your order. Yeah, so the Ipsy site says the hydrating formula instantly detangles, boosts shine, eliminates frizz, amplifies your hair color, and even helps protect your hair from heat and environmental damage too. So I was uh, doubly protected on the, the heat front. Uh, let's go to their website because I think I remember seeing the notes. Looks like they also make a shampoo, conditioner, and hair mask in that line and a styling potion. Also comes in an 8.5 fluid ounce size. I don't know if this is like Curly Girl Method approved. I would be surprised if it were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has silicones in it. Uh, let's see, it has a fragrance profile. Uh, so yeah, Violet Femmes, the top notes are ylang ylang, sparkling citrus, the middle is violet and fresh ginger, and the base is white musk. Yeah, I definitely get the violet 
from it. Okay, so that sounds like a good scent to you. I think um, you would probably enjoy it. Like I said, it's a nice uh, floral scent. I guess I can smell it in my hair. It's not like super overpowering, but it does smell nice. Okay, so the other options, there was a Treats Lash Treat, a Tarte Shadow Liner, Glamnetic Press On Nails, uh, the actual like bag Ipsy created, which is the brown uh, snakeskin looking thing, and then some Violet Voss uh, false lashes were also an option. So I like the Ipsy Glam Bag X. You get the option to get a makeup bag if you want one, uh, but you can substitute something else um, if you are like me and you really don't need another makeup bag. Uh, so if you like that particular month's pattern or design, you can pick it up. Okay, so let's talk about the items that Ipsy chose for me. Okay, so the first item here is the uh, Aether Beauty Moonlight Crystal Palette. This has a $58 value. And let's see, these are in the Halsey's Picks kind of pages. Uh, and it says, what do you get when you combine vegan ingredients, sustainable packaging, and crystal infused powders? This epic Halsey exclusive palette. It might be exclusive in terms of what Ipsy is offering to its customers, but I'm pretty sure you can buy this on the Aether Beauty website. Uh, it says mix and match the shadows. You can use them wet or dry to create your perfect shimmery eye look. And Halsey's tip here, it says dip your brush in a face oil to transform these shadows into a molten like cream. So that'll be an interesting uh, thing to try. Uh, so Aether has kind of redone its branding and packaging. They used to have E's in their name and they got rid of those for whatever reason. Uh, and this has kind of like the new, is it Rose Quartz palette? Uh, it has like a lip on it. So it's cardboard packaging, but to be more sustainable, they have removed magnets and the mirror from palettes. So you can see it has that little kind of box almost on the top. Uh, and then it has this, which is recyclable, this little plastic uh, with the shade names. Of course, it would have been nice if they'd printed them. Uh, they used to have little elastic bands to hold their packages together, but uh, I don't know why they've decided to go for this, but they have. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to play around with this palette. Uh, Aether's packages also come with these little fun cards too. This one is really cool. It has like a lion and a woman on it. Uh, and it says, I guess this is like a tarot card. That would make sense, right? Uh, I don't have any tarot cards to like compare the dimensions of. Uh, but it says, tenacious is the lioness in the face of oppression, unfaltering in conviction and clout. And it says Aether Beauty in collaboration with Cosmic Collage. So anyway, I think that's really pretty. I will definitely hold on to this and do something with it. Uh, if my mirror were a little bit more accessible to me, I might, you know, tape things to the mirror, but my computer monitor is kind of sitting in front of it, so it's a little bit out of the way. Okay, so that is one item. Next up we have the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. This retails for $24. And it says, whether you're performing on a stage like Halsey or giving a presentation on Zoom, this mascara has got you covered. The innovative brush lifts, curls, defines, and separates for a dramatic lash look that won't smudge or smear for hours. And her tip, it says, to make your eyes look more open, apply mascara on the tips of your bottom lashes. So I guess I will be giving that a try. Uh, again, I have this one that I got in, I think it was an add-on sale through BoxyCharm, something like that, uh, but I haven't used it, so I'm going to use the older one and then set this one aside for now. Okay, next up we have the uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. This has a $40 value. And it says, uh, when your skin needs a reset, reach for this powerful purifying mask. It's as effective as a pro treatment, but only takes five minutes at home. The combo of gentle clays, fruit enzymes, and exfoliating acids gets rid of dead skin cells, build up an excess oil for clear glowing skin. And Halsey says, 
Uh, after a long day in makeup, add this mask to your PM routine to keep your skin bright and clear. And I don't know if you can see here, I have some breakouts on my chin. So I don't think this is something I probably would have purchased myself because I, I just don't know if it would be well suited for my skin. I have more dry skin, but you know, obviously it's the summer. Masks are kind of making a comeback, so skin has a lot to deal with at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty much done with my like Hiram skincare journey. I've been procrastinating with filming the follow-up video. So anyway, so I might give this a shot. It has the nice little glow recipe jar and it does come with this plastic spatula. I wish they would kind of package this the way that pharmacy does where there's a magnet and you have like a metal little spatula because then it kind of keeps it together. I'm not sure how long I'll keep track of this little guy. But anyway, that is a nice full size skincare product. Uh, next up we have a skincare product that's probably a little bit better suited for me. So this is the Herbivore Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil. This has a $48 value. Uh, and it says a few drops are like a warm hug for your skin. It calms, soothes, nourishes, moisturizes, and even protects from environmental aggressors. You can thank the hemp seed oil. It's rich in fatty acids and vitamin E, squalene, turmeric root, and ashwagandha for those benefits. So uh, that is what the oil looks like. It's very attractive, I have to say. I love all these like really colorful uh, oils. So uh, I got this one. Another option I guess people could have gotten was the Herbivore Botanicals Lapis Blue Tansy Face Oil, uh, which actually has a higher value. I think that one had a $72 value. Uh, but anyway, I got the Emerald. I think this does have, yeah, it has hemp seed oil. It says cannabis uh, essential oil, cannabis sativa, hemp derived, yeah. So um, just be aware of that if you are sensitive to that ingredient or you know you can't use it for some reason. Uh, and her tip says spend a few minutes working in this oil for a relaxing facial massage before bed. Uh, I bet if you have like a jade roller or like a, a gua sha that would be nice to use with this. Uh, so that was the other skincare item I got. Uh, and then of course there was going to be an about face uh, product. Uh, so I got the Light Lock Highlight Fluid in Fight or Flight. Uh, and if you recall, I think we got an Ipsy product in the first Glam Bag X. I think I got like a lip product or something. Uh, but this is a liquid highlighter. And the way they have their packaging, they have like this pull tab in the middle which to me is kind of more gimmick than functional. Uh, so this says, uh, leave it to Halsey to create a highlighter that's as versatile as you. The shimmery gold liquid can be used in three ways. An illuminating base, an intense highlighter, or a glow booster in your foundation. And she also says you can add a few drops to your body moisturizer for a fire glow all over. Uh, so I have to say, I think this, this packaging is really uh, attractive. It has this kind of faceted uh, outside to it, and that cap pops off, revealing a little dropper, and that is where you get the product. Uh, so I think I did get the lightest shade, so I'm grateful for that. So if you didn't get the liquid highlighter, they also had the About Face Powder Highlighter, uh, so that was another option that those look um, beautiful as well. Uh, this has a $32 value. Uh, and then just to quickly go through the other options that were kind of Halsey's picks here, uh, there was the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Protective Primer. Uh, I have this little uh, sample that I'll use. Again, the Herbivore Botanicals Face Oil, like I mentioned. Uh, there's the Volition Beauty Yapon Tea Moisturizer. Uh, and then there's also a Dr. Brandt Eye Cream. Uh, the New Co Barrier Culture Cleanser. And the Powder Highlighter, like I mentioned. 
And I think that was all I had to really go over with you. They have, you know, more about Halsey here. So I kind of took some notes in terms of like how she likes to apply makeup. And then just talk about some of the ingredients and some of this month's products. And then for November 21, it doesn't have as like much of a hint, I guess, as the last uh, Glam Bag X did. Uh, but it just says, our next celebrity curator is so major, you won't want to miss it. Uh, and that is coming in November of 2021. Okay. Uh, so before we jump into the makeup application, I'm just going to quickly show you what was in my uh, regular glam bag. So Ipsy usually designs their bags so that they're different in different sizes, different colors, but kind of around the same theme. Uh, so this is also like a little snake uh, skin pouch, but it is like a little envelope style pouch and it's in a cream color. Uh, so it has the uh, just snap closure like that, it has a very bright uh, kind of lime green inside. Uh, and then the products, um, I think I'm only going to be using one of them. So they sent this Farah Short Shading Brush 45E. Uh, and it says the MSRP for the full size, which I'm assuming this is, uh, is $10. Vegan cruelty free. You can use it with your favorite powder, shimmer, and glitter pigments. Uh, so I thought I would use this to apply uh, some of the Aether shadows with the oil uh, because it is a synthetic little shader. So uh, I will be giving that a shot. Uh, we also have the Lower East Side Beauty Felt Tip Precision Point Eyeliner in black. I'm guessing this is full size. It says it has a $22 value, which seems kind of high. Uh, I know I've gotten, I think, one of their little eyeshadow quads or something before and it didn't seem like it was super high quality so uh, I'm not sure about that. So next up we have the Lid Quid eyeshadow by The Balm so I think they're playing off um, the fact that in British currency um, pounds are also called quid I guess like 50 quid on something. So this is in the shade Rosé uh, and it says this is a deluxe sample uh, the full size um, is $14. I think this is still a decent size. Uh, it says, beautiful, blendable, and buildable. This baby is what eyeshadow dreams are made of. Swipe it on your lids and then blend it out with a brush for a wash of shimmery rose gold color that lasts for hours without creasing or fading. And the tip is to use a fluffy brush to blend, blend, blend. It's key for serving up the perfect shadow look. So, I think I can just open this. That's what it looks like on the hand. It seems like it might be a little bit more sheer than some others I've tried, but I'm just gonna let that kind of dry and then see if it budges. Uh, and then the two last products I have, uh, so in the normal Ipsy, they have uh, it, five products and you can choose one. Okay, so I did pick the, the Balm product, uh, which is, what I thought. Okay, so next up we have this Tony Moly Moisture Boost. Uh, this is the Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum. Uh, and this is a deluxe sample. The full size is $25. Uh, it says your dry dehydrated skin doesn't stand a chance against this ultra hydrating serum. It absorbs into skin both quickly and deeply to provide an instant cooling, moisturizing, and plumping effect. And they say to store it in the fridge because it'll feel extra refreshing when you apply. All right, so I'm curious about this. I guess I'll go ahead and try it. it comes out as almost like a light blue gel kind of consistency. It doesn't really smell like much. I would say it's super cooling uh, any more than like a normal kind of skincare product would feel when you're putting it on. Okay, so the last product here is the Shea brand Shea Natural Lip Balm. This is also full size and the retail value is $8. Uh, it says, this isn't one of the lip balms you have to apply and then reapply seconds later. It treats lips to long lasting moisture. Thank you, Shea Butter, Coconut Oil, Vitamin E, and Beeswax and covers them in a protective coating. Okay, so I was very curious about this. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see, excuse my nails, see that, it's very pretty. Uh, so it has this like cardboard packaging 
and I think that's the actual product. Like I think it's cardboard. Um, on the bottom it says push and it's not really budging. So I always appreciate it when brands try to do things like environmentally friendly, but it doesn't always like work out the best in terms of functionality. So I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get like, I don't know, a straw or something to really push that up because it's just not really Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a little stuck. Yeah, so I think this is gonna be one that you have to kind of warm up a little bit. Uh you get to enjoy the pretty packaging, but yeah, it just kind of smells like shea butter. Uh, you get to enjoy the packaging, but I'm not sure how how well this will hold up like in a bag or whatever. But anyway, uh, it's a good uh, lip balm and I don't think it has peppermint oil in it, which is nice. It's just um, shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, and vitamin E. So if I didn't already have the Laneige lip balm on, I would, I would try that. But anyway, it's very pretty to look at and we'll see how well it performs. Okay. So this, by the way, I think I've given it enough time. Okay, so the sparkle is definitely moving. So I definitely don't think that's gonna be like a budge proof type liquid eyeshadow. Uh, again, I always appreciate a good pun in naming and the balm tends to do that a lot. So I'm not sure how it performs on the eyes. Um, just using the Aether shadows um, today, but definitely didn't pass the kind of hand budge test. Okay, so I think I'm going to kind of um, pull my hair up a little bit here. All right, so I think I'm going to do my eyes first, just in case there is fallout. Uh, so in terms of like inspiration from Halsey, I mean, she has this very kind of graphic, I don't know if you'll be able to see, light green and blue. Uh, that's one option. This one is definitely kind of a softer uh, violet eye, lavender, I guess. Uh, that seems kind of similar to what I did in my Anastasia video, so I think I might try something a little bit different. Uh, and then that's just another picture of that blue and like chartreuse almost. I might, I might copy that shaping, but I might pick some other colors. I don't even know if she used this palette in that look. It doesn't look like it. Uh, and then I also wanted to mention, she's actually um, in the, which one was this? August uh, issue of Allure. Uh, so cover up my address here. Uh, so there she is on the front cover and she's definitely rocking a mullet, right? Like that's a mullet. Uh, so just a couple more options and this has kind of been waterlogged. <laughs> little bit because I had it in the bath. Uh, so she has this look, which is a little hard to see because uh, she's kind of looking up. Um, so you can't really see what's going on uh, on her eyelids. So she has that kind of pink and green. Uh, I think they say here that if you want to get a similar look, you can use her matte eye paints. Uh, this picture, which is just kind of full on blue, very editorial. Uh, this one, again, I think it's like a matte eye paint look. Um, she has that like pink just kind of as a crease, like a freestanding crease. And then is that the last? Yeah, I think that's the last one. So I don't know. We're just going to start playing and see where, see where life takes us. I'm always a little scared of blue shadow for some reason. I don't know if it was because I used to watch uh, the Drew Carey show in the, I don't even know when that show was on. Was it the nineties or the aughts? Probably the aughts. Uh, but anyway, you'll recall Mimi had that huge blue look. Okay. So I just applied that Fenty um, eye primer. And I guess I'll zoom you guys in here. All right, so I'm definitely curious about this technique of using a, a brush dipped in face oil. So I have the brush that they sent me and this emerald uh, face oil. Okay, so I actually grabbed this little Stila tray that was in some kind of product they released ages ago. 
Uh, so I'm going to take some of this and drop it onto the tray. I don't think it has a scent. All right, and then taking this brush, seems to be soaking up a decent amount of the product. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with this one up here. This is called Full Moon. Hopefully I don't ruin it. It says they can be used wet or dry, so well, here's hoping. I think most people when they try to use a, a shadow wet, they'll use uh, like a, uh, what do you call it, makeup spray. That's a pretty shade. I'm not sure how much payoff I'm really getting. Uh, I'm just gonna flip the brush over and go into this, uh, it looks kind of like a turquoisey shade right there. Uh, this is called Intention. So I'm just gonna recreate that kind of shape with that darker intention shade on this eyelid, hopefully. Okay, so I think I like the idea of these colors, but I'm not really happy with, with this look. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe here and remove that. All right, and then I'm just going to set that primer with the um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and then I'm going to take a little bit more of a diffused brush and go into that teal shade again see how this kind of builds up I think Halsey is also 25, if I'm not mistaken, which I always find it a little offensive when people so young are so talented and accomplished. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I think there's uh, there are some things that a 25 year old can pull off that maybe a 36 year old cannot. I mean, do what you want, of course, but me as a 36 year old I don't necessarily feel comfortable with hopefully I can prevent this from like looking like a bruise okay uh, I'm gonna try it going into that shade again full moon and just on my finger I think this actually does better with a finger than it does with like a, a oil kind of um, brush application. Kind of blending it into the crease because on me it's probably going to end up in the crease anyway. My lid shape. To be honest, I'm not finding this palette to be the easiest to work with. 
Uh, I'm gonna go into Insight, which is that sparkly shade. That's pretty, add some dimension. I would say if you want something super like impactful or like where you can actually like control kind of how things look a little bit more, I would not probably recommend this palette. I'm just finding it a little bit, it's like subtle, but these shades aren't the kind of easy one and done. So I'm sure people can create beautiful looks with it, but I don't know. my skill level anyway it's not like I said it's not the easiest all right let's leave it there and do the rest of the face maybe that'll help I look so like gaunt and tired with this look so I am curious kind of how reflective this is because I think she said that you can use it as a base so I just put a little bit, okay, I think that actually shears out uh, to the extent where I can actually contemplate using this as a base. Uh, okay, she, she says you can also use it mixed in with foundation. Okay, so I guess I'll use some of this. looks like so and I have the makeup forever reboot so this should be interesting I would probably recommend doing this on a palette set the back of your hand but I have no idea if the like ratios of this are good and of course after I've mixed that I've realized that I haven't done any corrector which is usually my next step all right, so quickly using the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. And then making sure this doesn't run off my hand. It feels nice, this combination of products. Uh, and then I do have my beauty blender here. dark eyes and the like illumination in the base I feel like this is like uh, I think in the like Victorian era it was a trend to make it look like you had consumption uh, so uh, that kind of wasting away look was was in and so I think between the the dark eyes and this like glowy base that's kind of giving me a sweaty appearance I feel like that's what I've done to myself. Okay, uh, so we're just playing, like I said. Going to use some Kosas Airbrow, which to bring it full circle, uh, I think in the 90s, it was that whole like, you know, heroin chic vibe. So the idea of people finding it attractive to look ill is not like completely outside of like our cultural consciousness, if you will. Uh, I'm not saying that Halsey is anything like that. I don't think that's really her vibe, but uh, I don't know. If we're going to find some kind of connection in terms of music and all that. Uh, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin underneath the eyes. I feel like I desperately need a good brightening boost underneath here. I 
And then going back to the beauty blender so it don't look crazy. And I think I need a little bit of concealing on the face. So I'm gonna take this Lancome concealer, which I think is a slightly better uh, like face match for me and put that on the back of my hand so I don't contaminate it. I think I like this more than the NARS Soft Radiant Matte for concealing kind of imperfections and blemishes because it just it melts in a little bit better. It doesn't look so like cakey or obvious. And I just realized I forgot to use this Tatcha primer, but that's been around. You guys know what that looks like. All right, so let's add some structure to this face. Why don't we? Uh, using the Fenty Matchsticks. The shade Amber. And then my BK101 brush. Okay, and then I'm going to set the face using the same uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder. I guess I'll go ahead and try this liner. I was debating whether or not to open it uh, because it is shrink wrapped, but I feel like this look needs something. So we'll see if it looks like this will get into all the eyelid lines or not. Okay, so uh, I think this is a felt tip. So far, so good. I don't see it kind of getting into any of my lines on my hand anyway. So I'm not the world's um, greatest liquid eyeliner applier, um, but I have to say, this is not bad. Eating my words a little bit. It's a very firm felt tip. And like I said, it doesn't seem to be kind of getting into any lines. So if that sounds good to you, this might actually be worth looking into. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. All right, so for some bronzer, I'm gonna do the Gucci, oh, what is this, Poudre de Beauté, whatever. Uh, this is in the shade number one, using my rougher 22 brush. And then I think I'm gonna use this Essence blush, talk about going from high to low. Uh, this is in the shade Be Fitting and using my reference number five brush. I think I look alive now. <laughs> um, I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of shadow underneath the lash line. So going back into the palette and back into that intention shade. One good thing about this packaging is that the plastic does kind of fit into this little tray almost um, pretty well. So it's not like super hard to keep track of it. Okay, so I have this Urban Decay pencil in the shade Loaded and uh, it's kind of the same color story as the eyeshadow, so I'm going to put that on the waterline. It ended up kind of smudging a bit underneath, but that's fine. All right, so let's talk about this uh, mascara. I don't think I've actually tried this. All right, so we'll try this, I guess, on the lower lashes. That's kind of a, I don't know what you would call that shape, kind of oval, oblong. All right, and then using these refer uh, lash curlers. So I just realized this has kind of a fat end and then it's kind of squished, which is interesting. Uh, so I think first impression wise, I like the mascara. 
Uh, it does give a decent amount of length, which I don't think it even promises to do, which is interesting. Innovative brush lifts, curls, defines, and separates. Yeah, I don't think that's like its chief accomplishments. Like, I don't think any mascara really curls. Uh, as you saw, I used a lash curler. It's not really like a defining and separating type mascara, uh, at least to me. I mean, I don't think it like clumped them up horribly, but okay. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and apply some of this again on the tops of the cheekbones just to see kind of how it looks when it's in its pure form. Yeah, so I don't I don't think I'll go the route of mixing it in my foundation in the future because I don't think it really added anything. Alright, and then last but not least, we have the lip liner and lip gloss. So I'll just quickly wipe any excess lip balm off. This is a very good, like, My Lips Fit Better shade for me. So it's not like a true nude or anything. All right, and then this has a very kind of minty kind of tingle to it, so it's not really my favorite, but it has that kind of diamond kind of shape applicator. Probably should have uh, exfoliated my lips, but oh well. It smells nice, I just don't like the tingle. All right, so the question now is if I'm wearing enough makeup, I probably couldn't wear any more if I tried. I think my hair is still. No, definitely got a crimp in it. Okay, uh, so that's the finished look. Uh, definitely didn't kind of turn out the way I thought it would uh, based on the colors in that palette, but you know, that is, I'm gonna keep plastic with my hair now, uh, but that is just kind of the way things go, I guess. So I hope you guys found this interesting. Uh, let me know if there are any products that have piqued your interest. Uh, if you received this box uh, this month, let me know what you got and if you're enjoying it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We are, uh, I don't know, 65, 60, somewhere in there, uh, subscribers away from 2,000. So I'd very much appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. Uh, but until next time, I hope you guys stay safe and healthy, and I will talk to you soon.